The Book of Mormon, translated by Joseph Smith. Ether, chapters 10 through 13. Ether, chapter 10. And it came to pass that Shez, who was a descendant of Heth, for Heth had perished by the famine, and all his household, save it were Shez, wherefore Shez began to build up again a broken people. And it came to pass that Shez did remember the destruction of his fathers, and he did build up a righteous kingdom, for he remembered what the Lord had done in bringing Jared and his brother across the deep, and he did walk in the ways of the Lord. And he begat sons and daughters. And his eldest son, whose name was Shez, did rebel against him. Nevertheless, Shez was smitten by the hand of a robber because of his exceeding riches, which brought peace again unto his father. And it came to pass that his father did build up many cities upon the face of the land, and the people began again to spread over all the face of the land. And Shez did live to an exceedingly old age, and he begat Riplakish, and he died. And Riplakish reigned in his stead. And it came to pass that Riplakish did not do that which was right in the sight of the Lord. For he did have many wives and concubines, and did lay that upon men's shoulders which was grievous to be borne. Yea, he did tax them with heavy taxes, and with the taxes he did build many spacious buildings. And he did erect him an exceedingly beautiful throne, and he did build many prisons. And whoso would not be subject unto taxes, he did cast into prison. And whoso was not able to pay taxes, he did cast into prison. And he did cause that they should labor continually for their support. And whoso refused to labor, he did cause to be put to death. Wherefore he did obtain all his fine work, yea, even his fine gold, he did cause to be refined in prison. And all manner of fine workmanship he did cause to be wrought in prison. And it came to pass that he did afflict the people with his whoredoms and abominations. And when he had reigned for the space of forty and two years, the people did rise up in rebellion against him. And there began to be war again in the land, insomuch that Riplakish was killed, and his descendants were driven out of the land. And it came to pass, after the space of many years, Morianton, he being a descendant of Riplakish, gathered together an army of outcasts, and went forth and gave battle unto the people, and he gained power over many cities, and the war became exceedingly sore, and did last for the space of many years, and he did gain power over all the land, and did establish himself king over all the land. And after that he had established himself king, he did ease the burden of the people, by which he did gain favor in the eyes of the people, and they did anoint him to be their king. And he did do justice unto the people, but not unto himself, because of his many whoredoms, wherefore he was cut off from the presence of the Lord. And it came to pass that Morianton built up many cities, and the people became exceedingly rich under his reign, both in buildings, and in gold and silver, and in raising grain, and in flocks, and herds, and such things which had been restored unto them. And Morianton did live to an exceedingly great age, and then he begat Kim, and Kim did reign in the stead of his father, and he did reign eight years, and his father died. And it came to pass that Kim did not reign in righteousness, wherefore he was not favored of the Lord. And his brother did rise up in rebellion against him, by which he did bring him into captivity. And he did remain in captivity all his days, and he begat sons and daughters in captivity. And in his old age he begat Levi, and he died. And it came to pass that Levi did serve in captivity after the death of his father for the space of forty and two years. And he did make war against the king of the land, by which he did obtain unto himself the kingdom. And after he had obtained unto himself the kingdom, he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, and the people did prosper in the land. And he did live to a good old age, and begat sons and daughters. And he also begat Coram, whom he anointed king in his stead. And it came to pass that Coram did that which was good in the sight of the Lord all his days, and he begat many sons and daughters. And after he had seen many days he did pass away, even like unto the rest of the earth. And Kish reigned in his stead. And it came to pass that Kish passed away also, and Lib reigned in his stead. And it came to pass that Lib also did that which was good in the sight of the Lord. And in the days of Lib the poisonous serpents were destroyed. Wherefore they did go into the land southward, to hunt food for the people of the land. For the land was covered with animals of the forest. 
and Lib also himself became a great hunter. And they built a great city by the narrow neck of land, by the place where the sea divides the land. And they did preserve the land southward for a wilderness to get game. And the whole face of the land northward was covered with inhabitants. And they were exceedingly industrious. And they did buy and sell and traffic one with another, that they might get gain. And they did work in all manner of ore. And they did make gold and silver and iron and brass and all manner of metals. And they did dig it out of the earth. Wherefore they did cast up mighty heaps of earth to get ore of gold and of silver and of iron and of copper. And they did work all manner of fine work. And they did have silks and fine twined linen. And they did work all manner of cloth that they might clothe themselves from their nakedness. And they did make all manner of tools to till the earth, both to plow and to sow, to reap and to hoe, and also to thrash. And they did make all manner of tools with which they did work their beasts. And they did make all manner of weapons of war. And they did work all manner of work of exceedingly curious workmanship. And never could be a people more blessed than were they, and more prospered by the hand of the Lord. And they were in a land that was choice above all lands, for the Lord had spoken it. And it came to pass that Lib did live many years, and begat sons and daughters. And he also begat Hearthom. And it came to pass that Hearthom reigned in the stead of his father. And when Hearthom had reigned twenty and four years, behold, the kingdom was taken away from him. And he served many years in captivity, yea, even all the remainder of his days. And he begat Heth. And Heth lived in captivity all his days. And Heth begat Aaron. And Aaron dwelt in captivity all his days. And he begat Amnagada, and Amnagada also dwelt in captivity all his days, and he begat Coriantum, and Coriantum dwelt in captivity all his days, and he begat Com. And it came to pass that Com drew away the half of the kingdom, and he reigned over the half of the kingdom forty and two years. And he went to battle against the king Amgid, and they fought for the space of many years, during which time Com gained power over Amgid and obtained power over the remainder of the kingdom. And in the days of Com there began to be robbers in the land, and they adopted the old plans, and administered oaths after the manner of the ancients, and sought again to destroy the kingdom. Now Com did fight against them much, nevertheless he did not prevail against them. Ether chapter 11 and there came also in the days of Com many prophets, and prophesied of the destruction of that great people, except they should repent, and turn unto the Lord, and forsake their murders and wickedness. And it came to pass that the prophets were rejected by the people, and they fled unto Com for protection, for the people sought to destroy them. And they prophesied unto Com many things, and he was blessed in all the remainder of his days. And he lived to a good old age, and begat Shiblom, and Shiblom reigned in his stead, and the brother of Shiblom rebelled against him, and there began to be an exceedingly great war in all the land. And it came to pass that the brother of Shiblom caused that all the prophets who prophesied of the destruction of the people should be put to death. And there was great calamity in all the land, for they had testified that a great curse should come upon the land and also upon the people, and that there should be a great destruction among them such an one as never had been upon the face of the earth, and their bones should become as heaps of earth upon the face of the land, except they should repent of their wickedness. And they hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord, because of their wicked combinations. Wherefore there began to be wars and contentions in all the land, and also many famines and pestilences, insomuch that there was a great destruction, such an one as never had been known upon the face of the earth, and all this came to pass in the days of Shiblom. And the people began to repent of their iniquity, and inasmuch as they did, the Lord did have mercy on them. And it came to pass that Shiblom was slain, and Seth was brought into captivity, and did dwell in captivity all his days. And it came to pass that Ahah his son did obtain the kingdom, and he did reign over the people all his days. And he did do all manner of iniquity in his days, by which he did cause the shedding of much blood, and few were his days. And Etham, being a descendant of Ahah, did obtain the kingdom, and he also did do that which was wicked in his days. 
And it came to pass that in the days of Etham there came many prophets, and prophesied again unto the people. Yea, they did prophesy that the Lord would utterly destroy them from off the face of the earth, except they repented of their iniquities. And it came to pass that the people hardened their hearts, and would not hearken unto their words. And the prophets mourned and withdrew from among the people. And it came to pass that Etham did execute judgment and wickedness all his days, and he begat Moran. And it came to pass that Moran did reign in his stead, and Moran did that which was wicked before the Lord. And it came to pass that there arose a rebellion among the people because of that secret combination which was built up to get power and gain. And there arose a mighty man among them in iniquity, and gave battle unto Moran, in the which he did overthrow the half of the kingdom, and he did maintain the half of the kingdom for many years. And it came to pass that Moran did overthrow him, and did obtain the kingdom again. And it came to pass that there arose another mighty man, and he was a descendant of the brother of Jared. And it came to pass that he did overthrow Moran, and obtain the kingdom. Wherefore, Moran dwelt in captivity all the remainder of his days, and he begat Coriantor. And it came to pass that Coriantor dwelt in captivity all his days. And in the days of Coriantor there also came many prophets, and prophesied of great and marvelous things, and cried repentance unto the people. And except they should repent, the Lord God would execute judgment against them to their utter destruction, and that the Lord God would send or bring forth another people to possess the land by his power, after the manner by which he brought their fathers. And they did reject all the words of the prophets, because of their secret society and wicked abominations. And it came to pass that Coriantor begat Ether, and he died, having dwelt in captivity all his days. Ether chapter 12 And it came to pass that the days of Ether were in the days of Coriantumr, and Coriantumr was king over all the land. And Ether was a prophet of the Lord. Wherefore Ether came forth in the days of Coriantumr, and began to prophesy unto the people. For he could not be restrained because of the Spirit of the Lord which was in him. For he did cry from the morning even until the going down of the sun, exhorting the people to believe in God unto repentance, lest they should be destroyed, saying unto them that by faith all things are fulfilled. Wherefore, whoso believeth in God might with surety hope for a better world, yea, even a place at the right hand of God, which hope cometh of faith, maketh an anchor to the souls of men, which would make them sure and steadfast, always abounding in good works, being led to glorify God. And it came to pass that Ether did prophesy great and marvelous things unto the people, which they did not believe, because they saw them not. And now I, Moroni, would speak somewhat concerning these things. I would show unto the world that faith is things which are hoped for and not seen. Wherefore dispute not, because ye see not. For ye receive no witness until after the trial of your faith. For it was by faith that Christ showed himself unto our fathers after he had risen from the dead. And he showed not himself unto them until after they had faith in him. Wherefore it must needs be that some had faith in him. For he showed himself not unto the world. But because of the faith of men he has shown himself unto the world. And glorified the name of the Father. And prepared a way that thereby others might be partakers of the heavenly gift that they might hope for those things which they have not seen. Wherefore, ye may also have hope, and be partakers of the gift, if ye will but have faith. Behold, it was by faith that they of old were called after the holy order of God. Wherefore, by faith was the law of Moses given. But in the gift of his Son hath God prepared a more excellent way, and it is by faith that it hath been fulfilled. For if there be no faith among the children of men, God can do no miracle among them. Wherefore he showed not himself until after their faith. Behold, it was the faith of Alma and Amulek that caused the prison to tumble to the earth. Behold, it was the faith of Nephi and Lehi that wrought the change upon the Lamanites, that they were baptized with fire and with the Holy Ghost. Behold, it was the faith of Ammon and his brethren, which wrought so great a miracle among the Lamanites, Yea, and even all they who wrought miracles wrought them by faith, even those who were before Christ and also those who were after. 
and it was by faith that the three disciples obtained a promise that they should not taste of death. And they obtained not the promise until after their faith, and neither at any time hath any wrought miracles until after their faith. Wherefore, they first believed in the Son of God. And there were many whose faith was so exceedingly strong, even before Christ came, who could not be kept from within the veil, but truly saw with their eyes the things which they had beheld with an eye of faith, and they were glad. And behold, we have seen in this record that one of these was the brother of Jared. For so great was his faith in God, that when God put forth his finger, he could not hide it from the sight of the brother of Jared, because of his word which he had spoken unto him, which word he had obtained by faith. And after the brother of Jared had beheld the finger of the Lord, because of the promise which the brother of Jared had obtained by faith, the Lord could not withhold anything from his sight. Therefore he showed him all things, for he could no longer be kept without the veil. And it is by faith that my fathers have obtained the promise that these things should come unto their brethren through the Gentiles. Therefore the Lord hath commanded me, yea, even Jesus Christ. And I said unto him, Lord, the Gentiles will mock at these things, because of our weakness in writing. For, Lord, thou hast made us mighty in word by faith, but thou hast not made us mighty in writing. For thou hast made all this people that they could speak much because of the Holy Ghost which thou hast given them. And thou hast made us that we could write but little because of the awkwardness of our hands. Behold, thou hast not made us mighty in writing like unto the brother of Jared. For thou madest him that the things which he wrote were mighty even as thou art, unto the overpowering of man to read them. Thou hast also made our words powerful and great, even that we cannot write them. Wherefore, when we write, we behold our weakness, and stumble because of the placing of our words. And I fear lest the Gentiles shall mock at our words. And when I had said this, the Lord spake unto me, saying, Fools mock, but they shall mourn. And my grace is sufficient for the meek, that they shall take no advantage of your weakness. And if men come unto me, I will show unto them their weakness. I give unto men weakness, that they may be humble. And my grace is sufficient for all men that humble themselves before me. For if they humble themselves before me, and have faith in me, then will I make weak things become strong unto them. Behold, I will show unto the Gentiles their weakness, and I will show unto them that faith, hope, and charity bringeth unto me the fountain of all righteousness. And I, Moroni, having heard these words, was comforted, and said, O Lord, thy righteous will be done, for I know that thou workest unto the children of men according to their faith. For the brother of Jared said unto the mountain Zeran, Remove, and it was removed. And if he had not had faith, it would not have moved. Wherefore thou workest after men have faith. For thus didst thou manifest thyself unto thy disciples, for after they had faith, and did speak in thy name, thou didst show thyself unto them in great power. And I also remember that thou hast said that thou hast prepared a house for man, yea, even among the mansions of my father, in which man might have a more excellent hope. Wherefore man must hope, or he cannot receive an inheritance in the place which thou hast prepared. And again, I remember that thou hast said that thou hast loved the world, even unto the laying down of thy life for the world, that thou mightest take it again to prepare a place for the children of men. And now I know that this love which thou hast had for the children of men is charity. Wherefore, except men shall have charity, they cannot inherit that place which thou hast prepared in the mansions of thy father. Wherefore, I know by this thing which thou hast said, that if the Gentiles have not charity because of our weakness, that thou wilt prove them and take away their talent, yea, even that which they have received, and give unto them who shall have more abundantly. And it came to pass that I prayed unto the Lord that he would give unto the Gentiles grace, that they might have charity. And it came to pass that the Lord said unto me, If they have not charity, it mattereth not unto thee. Thou hast been faithful. Wherefore thy garments shall be made clean, and because thou hast seen thy weakness, thou shalt be made strong. 
even unto the sitting down in the place which I have prepared in the mansions of my father. And now I, Moroni, bid farewell unto the Gentiles, yea, and also unto my brethren whom I love, until we shall meet before the judgment seat of Christ, where all men shall know that my garments are not spotted with your blood. And then shall we know that I have seen Jesus, and that he hath talked with me face to face, and that he told me in plain humility, even as a man telleth another in mine own language concerning these things. And only a few have I written because of my weakness in writing. And now I would commend you to seek this Jesus, of whom the prophets and apostles have written, that the grace of God the Father and also the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost which beareth record of them may be and abide in you forever. Amen. Ether chapter 13 and now I, Moroni, proceed to finish my record concerning the destruction of the people of whom I have been writing. For behold, they rejected all the words of Ether, for he truly told them of all things from the beginning of man, and that after the waters had receded from off the face of this land, it became a choice land above all other lands, a chosen land of the Lord, wherefore the Lord would have that all men should serve him who dwell upon the face thereof and that it was the place of the new Jerusalem which should come down out of heaven, and the holy sanctuary of the Lord. Behold, Ether saw the days of Christ, and he spake concerning a new Jerusalem upon this land, and he spake also concerning the house of Israel, and the Jerusalem from whence Lehi should come after it should be destroyed, it should be built up again, a holy city unto the Lord. Wherefore, it could not be a new Jerusalem, for it had been in a time of old, but it should be built up again, and become a holy city of the Lord, and it should be built unto the house of Israel. And that a new Jerusalem should be built upon this land, unto the remnant of the seed of Joseph, for which things there has been a type. For as Joseph brought his father down into the land of Egypt, even so he died there, Wherefore, the Lord brought a remnant of the seed of Joseph out of the land of Jerusalem, that he might be merciful unto the seed of Joseph, that they should perish not, even as he was merciful unto the father of Joseph, that he should perish not. Wherefore, the remnant of the house of Joseph shall be built upon this land, and it shall be a land of their inheritance, and they shall build up a holy city unto the Lord, like unto the Jerusalem of old, and they shall no more be confounded, until the end come when the earth shall pass away. And there shall be a new heaven and a new earth, and they shall be like unto the old, save the old have passed away, and all things have become new. And then cometh the new Jerusalem, and blessed are they who dwell therein, for it is they whose garments are white through the blood of the Lamb. And they are they who are numbered among the remnant of the seed of Joseph, who were of the house of Israel. And then also cometh the Jerusalem of old, and the inhabitants thereof. Blessed are they, for they have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. And they are they who were scattered and gathered in from the four quarters of the earth, and from the north countries, and are partakers of the fulfilling of the covenant which God made with their father Abraham. And when these things come, bringeth to pass the scripture which saith, There are they who were first, who shall be last, and there are they who were last, who shall be first. And I was about to write more, but I am forbidden. But great and marvelous were the prophecies of Ether. But they esteemed him as not, and cast him out, and he hid himself in the cavity of a rock by day. And by night he went forth viewing the things which should come upon the people. And as he dwelt in the cavity of a rock, he made the remainder of his record, viewing the destructions which came upon the people by night. And it came to pass that in that same year in which he was cast out from among the people, there began to be a great war among the people. For there were many who rose up, who were mighty men, and sought to destroy Coriantumr by their secret plans of wickedness, of which hath been spoken. And now Coriantumr, having studied himself in all the arts of war, and all the cunning of the world, wherefore he gave battle unto them who sought to destroy him. But he repented not neither his fair sons nor daughters, neither the fair sons and daughters of Kohor, neither the fair sons and daughters of Korahor, and in fine, 
there were none of the fair sons and daughters upon the face of the whole earth who repented of their sins. Wherefore it came to pass, that in the first year that Ether dwelt in the cavity of a rock, there were many people who were slain by the sword of those secret combinations, fighting against Coriantumr, that they might obtain the kingdom. And it came to pass that the sons of Coriantumr fought much, and bled much. And in the second year the word of the Lord came to Ether that he should go and prophesy unto Coriantumr that, if he would repent, and all his household, the Lord would give unto him his kingdom, and spare the people. Otherwise they should be destroyed, and all his household, save it were himself. And he should only live to see the fulfilling of the prophecies which had been spoken concerning another people receiving the land for their inheritance. And Coriantumr should receive a burial by them, and every soul should be destroyed, save it were Coriantumr. And it came to pass that Coriantumr repented not, neither his household, neither the people, and the wars ceased not, and they sought to kill Ether, but he fled from before them and hid again in the cavity of the rock. And it came to pass that there arose up Sherod, and he also gave battle unto Coriantumr, and he did beat him, insomuch that in the third year he did bring him into captivity. And the son of Coriantumr in the fourth year did beat Sherod, and did obtain the kingdom again unto their father. Now there began to be a war upon all the face of the land, every man with his band fighting for that which he desired. And there were robbers, and in fine all manner of wickedness upon all the face of the land. And it came to pass that Coriantumr was exceedingly angry with Sherod, and he went against him with his armies to battle. And they did meet in great anger, and they did meet in the valley of Gilgal, and the battle became exceedingly sore. And it came to pass that Sherod fought against him for the space of three days. And it came to pass that Coriantumr beat him, and did pursue him until he came to the plains of Heshlon. And it came to pass that Sherod gave him battle again upon the plains. And behold, he did beat Coriantumr, and drove him back again to the valley of Gilgal. And Coriantumr gave Sherod battle again in the valley of Gilgal, in which he beat Sherod and slew him. And Sherod wounded Coriantumr in his thigh, that he did not go to battle again for the space of two years, in which time all the people upon the face of the land were shedding blood, and there was none to restrain them. End of Ether, chapters 10 through 13.